Our topic will be under financial statement ratios. So from the two previous discussion, I discussed uh, liquidity ratios and activity ratios. So for today, I will discuss about profitability ratios. So what do profitability ratios tell you? Okay, so actually, these financial ratio are one of the most informative and useful. If you are an investor, okay, this ratio will help you to compare a subject company to other company or similar companies or the average ratios of the company industry as a whole, okay, or the history of your own company. Okay, so we have two categories. One is margin ratios and return ratios. Okay, so let's go on under the margin ratios. We have gross profit margin. We have operating profit margin. We have the net profit margin. And we have the EBITDA percentage ratio. Okay, so for the gross profit margin, here, it measures how much a company can mark up sales above cost of goods sold. So, our formula, gross profit divided by net sales. In the margin ratio, the denominator is always the net sales. Then, operating profit margin, we have operating profit divided by the net sales. When you say operating margin because this is the percentage of sales left, okay, after covering the additional operating expenses. And then the net profit margin, that means the company's ability to generate earnings after taxes. And then for the EBITDA, this time it, you ignore the cost of debt capital, the tax effects, the non-cash operating expenses such as interest, taxes, depreciation, amortization, and add back to the earnings, the taxes, the interest, the depreciation, the amortization, uh, that will be your numerator, then divided by the net sales under the EBITDA percentage ratio. Okay? So actually, these ratios is always referring to the ability of the sales covering all operating expenses, non-operating expenses, and all other additional operating expenses. Okay? So, so for the return ratios, okay, we have return on investment, return on assets, and return on equity. So, for return on investment, this company is deploying its assets in attaining profit. Of course, the formula is net profit divided by total assets. The difference between the return on assets and return on investment, return on assets denominator is the average of total assets. Again, in return ratios, your numerator is net profit or net income. So under the return on equity, this is the net profit divided by average total equity. So it's very easy to remember. Now, from the term return, this is customarily refers to your net profit or net income. The more assets a company has amassed, the more sales and potentially more profits the company may generate. If you are looking at the return on asset, this refers to the economies of scale, how the companies lower its cost and improve its margin. Okay, so for the return on equity, this is the ratio concerns companies' equity holders. Here, we are talking to the return of owner per dollar invested. This is attributable to common equity. Again, only. when it comes to return ratios, the numerator or the net income. In the margin ratios, the denominator is the net sales. Okay, now again, our key takeaway here, profitability ratios assess a company's ability to generate revenue relative to its sales or revenues, operating costs, balance sheet assets, and shareholders' equity. And higher ratio results 
open more learned something for today about the profitability ratios please please if you think that you have a friend or family members that this video will help please share it with them tag them and also subscribe in accounting coach and this youtube channel because that helps me to understand your needs and if you have any topics or subjects that you want me to discuss please let me know